In this video we will explain exactly what the FIFA Football Tribunal is and its purpose. Before October 1, 2021, the decision-making bodies for FIFA were the Player Status Committee and the Dispute Resolution Chamber. From October 1, 2021, this changed and FIFA amended the regulations governing its decision-making bodies through the procedural rules governing the Football Tribunal. In efforts to modernize its dispute resolution processes, FIFA established a Football Tribunal which consolidates the powers that the Player Status Committee and the Dispute Resolution Chamber previously had. As per Article 1, Paragraph 2 of the Procedural Rules Governing the Football Tribunal, the Football Tribunal is composed of three chambers. 1. The Dispute Resolution Chamber, DRC. 2. The Player Status Chamber, PSC. And 3. The Agents Chamber, AC. The DRC decides employment-related disputes between players and clubs and disputes related to training rewards. The PSC decides employment-related disputes between coaches and clubs or associations, transfer-related disputes between clubs, and regulatory applications related to the international transfer system and also the eligibility of players to participate for representative teams. The DRC and the PSC offer arbitration for international disputes between member associations, clubs and players. These disputes are predominantly regulated by the regulations on the status and transfer of players. The AC offers arbitration and dispute resolution for international disputes involving football agents and intermediaries. FIFA made a lot of changes to the arbitration process through the procedural rules. The main changes to note are as follows. The costs are detailed in Article 25 and states that procedures are free of charge where at least one of the parties is a player, coach, football agent or match agent. Article 19 outlines the preliminary procedural matters allowing for the FIFA General Secretariat to refer a case directly to the chairperson of the relevant chamber of the Football Tribunal for an expedited decision. Mediation is detailed in Article 26 and has three main points. If the chairperson of the Football Tribunal considers it's appropriate, they may invite the parties to mediate the dispute. And mediation is a voluntary process and free of charge. And if mediation is successful, a settlement agreement will be signed by the parties and ratified by the mediator and the chairperson of the respective chamber. The settlement agreement shall be considered a final and binding decision. Now let's look at each chamber in more detail. It is important to note that the Dispute Resolution Chamber is composed of a chairperson and two deputy chairpersons, 15 player representatives and 15 club representatives. Under Article 23 of the RTSP, the DRC can adjudicate on the following matters. Disputes between clubs and players in relation to the maintenance of contractual stability where there has been an international transfer certificate request and a claim from an interested party in relation to ITC request. This typically relates to disputes when a player has unilaterally terminated their contract with the club to join a new club and the former club claims that the termination was unlawful, for example, without just cause. Employment-related disputes between a club and a player of an international dimension. This includes all contractual disputes where the player's nationality is different from the country where the club is based. Disputes relating to training compensation and the solidarity mechanism between clubs belonging to different associations that are not governed by the FIFA Clearinghouse regulations and of the same association provided that the transfer of a player at the basis of the dispute occurs between clubs belonging to different associations that are also not governed by the FIFA Clearinghouse regulations. Matters of legal or factual complexity in an electronic player passport review process in accordance with Article 10, Paragraph 3 of the FIFA Clearinghouse Regulations and disputes between clubs in accordance with Article 18, Paragraph 2 of the FIFA Clearinghouse Regulations. The second chamber, the Player Status Chamber, is composed of a chairperson and a deputy chairperson and the necessary number of members as decided by the FIFA Council. These members are proposed by members' associations, confederations, players, clubs and leagues. The PSC can educate on employment-related disputes between a club or an association and the coach of an international dimension. The international dimension aspect is fulfilled if the coach 
is of a different nationality from the club or national association involved. The parties can, however, opt for such disputes to be handled by independent arbitration tribunal that has been established at national level within the framework of the association and or a collective bargaining agreement. For this option, such an arbitration clause must be included in the employment contract or in the collective bargaining agreement applicable on the parties. Furthermore, the independent national arbitration tribunal must guarantee fair proceedings. The PSC may also handle disputes between clubs from different associations that cannot be adjudicated by the DRC. Finally, the agent's chamber is also composed of a chairperson and a deputy chairperson and the necessary number of members as decided by the FIFA Council. The AC has jurisdiction under the FIFA Football Agent Regulations, Article 20 over disputes arising out of or in connection with the representation agreement with an international dimension or where a claim is lodged in accordance with the procedural rules governing the football tribunal. They will only be able to address such disputes where no more than two years have elapsed from the event giving rise to the dispute. The application of this time limit shall be examined ex officio in each case. All decisions issued by the Football Tribunal Chambers, the DRC, PSC or AC can be appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport known as CAS in accordance with Chapter 9 of the FIFA status. The appeal must be lodged with CAS within 21 days of receipt of the decision. We hope you now have everything you need to know regarding the newly devised FIFA Football Tribunal. If you have found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing for more educational content and follow the Erkitsugur Academy on other social media platforms.